Hello everyone, uh, welcome to first edition of uh, ABCs of ADCs uh, video series. A short video discussion is about analog to digital uh, converters uh, and the whole analog to digital uh, conversion process. Uh, my name is uh, Iman Shalabi. I'm product marketing engineer for Analog BU at Microchip. Uh, and uh, in today, we are going to start this series with basics. Uh, in this edition, we will uh, talk about uh, what is an ADC and uh, why an ADC needed in any given uh, circuit. So let's get us started. An analog uh, to digital converter or an ADC uh, is an electronic device uh, or circuit that converts uh, continuous analog inputs into discrete digital outputs. Uh, this process allows uh, analog digitals to be represented in digital domain uh, and uh, to be represented in digital outputs and information. So those digital information could be fed into uh, digital systems such as microcontrollers, digital signal processing, or even computers for uh, processing, storage, or transmission. Um, nowadays, uh, ADCs are utilized in a variety of uh, different applications. They are everywhere. Uh, depending on ADC type and architecture, ADCs can go in different applications such as consumer electronics, uh, such as uh, smartphones, tablets, uh, digital cameras, audio equipments, where they convert analog inputs uh, like uh, sound and light into digital information for uh, further processing and storage. Another popular application uh, is uh, medical imaging and diagnostic where ADCs uh, are used in uh, uh, devices such as MRIs, CT scans, and digital x-rays where they convert uh, high-speed uh, analog signals uh, into high-resolution uh, digital uh, images. Usually, uh, high-speed ADCs are utilized in this type of application uh, where high sampling rate is required. Uh, another popular application is uh, industrial automation and controls uh, where, hi where high precision and high resolution uh, usually uh, uh, are needed uh, applications such as uh, process controls, factory automation, robotics, uh, and etc. Uh, ADCs are all uh, in a lot of uh, automotive systems. Uh, uh, for example, uh, to name a few, info infotainment systems, ADAS, uh, which is advanced driver assistance systems, controller units, engine control units, uh, and pretty much they are all uh, they are all uh, over uh, a vehicle. Uh, another uh, popular application is instrumentational measurements, uh, such as oscilloscope, spectrum analyzer, and a lot of high speed and high precision data acquisition systems, where a lot of uh, SAR and delta sigma ADCs are present. And lastly, uh, there are a lot of uh, ADCs in aerospace and defense, uh, such as radar systems. As you can see, ADCs could be found uh, in different applications. That there are different uh, ADC architectures with different uh, advantages and features that uh, could basically cater to different needs. Uh, now uh, let's uh, talk about ADCs uh, basic operation. As we mentioned before, ADC is an electronic device that converts an analog signal into a digital signal. This is usually done in three different steps as shown in the slide, sampling, quantization, and encoding from left to right. Now let's talk about each, uh, each of these steps and what they mean. Uh, the operation uh, starts with sampling. Imagine an analog signal any given ADC samples continuous analog signal at inter at regular interval, as shown uh, with uh, blue dots in here, and each blue dot represents our analog signal as a discrete point. Uh, the frequency of these dots uh, correspond to ADC sampling rate or ADC speed. Higher dots means higher sampling rate, means uh, higher, faster uh, ADC, basically. Then each sample <coughs> value is quantized, which means it is mapped to the nearest value within a finite set of discrete levels. 
Um, the number of uh, discrete level is determined by resolution of uh, ADC, uh, and typically the resolution is expressed in terms of bits, uh, and the number of discrete level is two to the power of that resolution. For a purpose of this presentation, let's assume you're talking about a two-bit ADC, which means ADCs are quantized in two to the power of two or four levels, as, in, as it is shown in our example here. Now, uh, for example, if you have a 3-bit ADC, then that will be 2 to the power of 3 or 8 different quantization level. A 12-bit ADC, for example, has 2 to the power of 12 or 4,096 different uh, quantization level. After that, uh, after uh, quantization is done, the quantized value then are encoded in the binary formats. Uh, and uh, encoding uh, is basically the process of converting the quantized value into the binary formats that can be processed by a digital system. Uh, in the, here, for example, you would see that a four-level uh, quantization level uh, has a uh, a two-bit binary format uh, expressed as uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Uh, for example, for a three-bit binary format, it would be 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 0, 1, and so on. Now, let's compare our two-bit example with a three-bit example. And here you do uh, see the quantization levels for a 2 to the power of 3 or 3-bit three ADC, uh, which as you can see, uh, we do have uh, 8 quantization levels. Therefore, by increasing the resolution by 1 bit, you are doubling the quantization, thus increasing uh, the precision of your measurements uh, in your analog, uh, analog to digital converter. Now uh, that we talked about uh, basic, uh, basic uh, ADC operation, uh, let's talk about top popular ADC architectures and types. Uh, this is a very basic and simplified uh, table. In this table, you can see different ADC architectures, uh, their main differences in terms of speed and resolution, and some uh, typical application for each of them. Again, this is a very simplified overview. Uh, this uh, includes some of the more popular uh, types of ADC, but uh, there are more different uh, types of ADC out there in the market. Uh, in our table, we are starting with uh, SAR, or Successive Web Approximation Register ADC. Uh, these ADCs uh, usually offer a moderate speed, uh, typically from uh, a few kilo sample per second uh, up to a few mega sample per second. Uh, and they also uh, offer rather high resolution uh, up to 16 bits. Uh, they are uh, known to be general purpose ADCs for their balance between speed, resolution, and power consumption. Next, we have our uh, Sigma Delta or Delta Sigma ADCs. Uh, they ha have a very high resolution. Uh, they uh, use oversampling and noise, sh noise uh, shaping to achieve high resolution and low noise. Uh, uh, but uh, they rather have uh, a lower speed uh, when they are compared to other architectures. Uh, therefore, uh, it makes them very good ideal ADC candidate for high resolution, low speed type of measurements. Uh, next, we have our pipeline ADCs, which are known to be a higher speed ADCs. Uh, they do offer uh, up to hundreds of mega samples of per uh, mega sample per seconds. Uh, of sampling rate, uh, or they, some of them can go up to giga samples, uh, and they are, offer a moderate to high uh, resolution, up to 16 bits, and they are um, uh, used in a lot of uh, telecommunication, uh, video processing type of application, and high speed data acquisition. And lastly, we do have our dual, uh, dual slope uh, type of ADCs, where uh, uh, they integrate the input signal over a fixed period and then they measure the time it takes to return to zero. Uh, they are known for the high accuracy and noise rejection, offer low speed, uh, uh, but up to 18 bits of resolution. 
And that wraps up our first video. Thanks for tuning in into our video series, uh, ABCs of ADCs. Uh, please feel free to send your questions or feedbacks to our email at ABCs of ADCs at microchip.com. And also make sure to reach out to us and let's, uh, let us know what you want to see next. Uh, maybe uh, as a possible future topic, we can talk about a specific ADC specification that you have in mind or you want us to uh, have a more in-depth discussion uh, about ADC uh, architecture and their applications or etc. Uh, we are very excited to see your emails, your suggestions, and uh, make videos and content that you are excited about. Thank you very much. Have a great day.